No lo sé, el rojo me gusta bastante, pero como el azul es tu color favorito, igual debes ir con eso. No lo sé. Hello guys and welcome back. If this is your first time, I hope you will stay. Espero que te quedes. So today, I wanted to make this video as I'm a little bit concerned about the messages I've been receiving this week uh, from concerned students who are doubting whether or not they made the right decision in choosing to continue in with their language learning journey. So yeah, um, so uh, I feel as though the first thing that we need to uh, think about is whether or not we actually like Spanish as a subject. Do you like it? You must have liked some aspect of it, you have chosen it. Okay, so why did you choose it? Was it forced upon you? Um, think about that for a moment. If your answer is, yes, I like it, I feel as though that is key. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether or not um, you are finding it difficult or not. Most of the things you do in life are going to be difficult. Um, I think it's difficult for everyone. And as I've mentioned before in the previous video, um, it's a massive step from GCSE to A level. And so you need to bear that in mind that it is going to be a bit of a struggle. One thing that I've, I've, I've noticed in all of the messages is that everybody else seems to be better than me. Or rubbish, I'm rubbish. That is terrible guys, you are not rubbish, it's just, harder it's a little bit harder than you anticipated which is okay but i don't think you thought you you should throw your throw the towel in um the first um sign of of trouble uh, and it will get better i promise you it will get better but you need to focus okay you need to focus on these points okay rubbish you're not rubbish at all you just need to be a little bit more organized and you need to put a little bit more time in. Okay, so I've just jotted a few things down that I want to make sure that I, I cover because I always skip things when I don't, um, I don't write them down. Right, so how can you improve? If you feel as though um, you are the least prepared, um, because one, one of the messages I had was um, that this person did not study um, GCSE um, Spanish for as long as all the other kids. So they've had more experience than the others in their class. And that's okay. Um, because if you if you got a decent grade um, at GCSE, it means that you are quite good. It's on a certain level, you are quite good. Um, so you don't need to be comparing yourself um, to everybody else, okay? Um, that's the first thing, okay? We're all trying to attain this um, this good mark at the end of A level, but um, we're not at the same level and we're not reaching for the same things. We all learn different pace and we can't compare our ourselves to other people. We, we just can't do it because we're not all the same and we learn in different ways. Okay, so concentrate, concentrate please on your strong points. Okay, I was terrible at listening. Okay, but I knew I was good at other things. Find your strong points. So how can you improve? Okay, your spare time is very, very important. So it's very, very important that you're incorporating um, the, your Spanish learning into that time. So um, if you're listening to music, um, download um, a playlist that consists of uh, maybe 60% Spanish music, okay? or um, download things, um, audio, that's Spanish dialogue. These are things that I thought were really helpful when I was learning. Okay, so your playlist should be Spanish, okay? Not all of it, but Spanish in your, on your playlist. You can listen to that, um, whether or not you're, uh, uh, whether you're at home or you're going for a jog and you've got your um, earphones in, your, Get it on, get it on your music list. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, um, I used to do this with German as well, a lot. I used to have dialogues, little plays that I would listen, listen to and little stories. 
just put them on your playlist if you don't know how to do that um, I'll um, let you know later just leave a message down below I'm saying that you guys are more modern than I am in that sense okay forget that okay playlist Spanish 60% Spanish music um, audio files plays whatever you can get stick it on whenever you have a moment whether it's walking to school you're listening whether it is washing up the dishes at home put it on whatever it is make sure that playlist is in Spanish it will help okay and um, your series okay it is quite frustrating I know but this is going to help you go from here to here your um, favorite series um, I was obsessed with Friends. I don't know if you guys know Friends. It was an American series. I think they still put it on. It still comes on. I'm not sure. But you can find it anywhere. You can, you can find the, the DVD set if it doesn't come on anymore. Put that in Spanish, okay? Or find another series that you like. Put it in Spanish, okay? Um, and I said Friends because obviously I've watched all the episodes of Friends, and so pretty much I knew what um, they were saying beforehand, so I wasn't getting stressed when I was listening to the Spanish that I was completely lost. So because I knew some of what they were saying already, I feel as though that helped me um, to sort of understand what they were saying in Spanish even a bit, even bit more. I recognised the words easier. Oh, I know that's Ross saying, eres tonto. You're stupid, okay? So that I found really helpful. So put in a series on that you perhaps have watched a few times already, put it on in Spanish, okay? Right, um, switch all of your apps. So your phone, um, your phone language, put it in Spanish, okay? Your social media, so whatever social media you have, whether it's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's Instagram, whatever, all of your apps, change the language to Spanish. This is going to teach you loads and loads of new vocabulary. And obviously because you're going through the apps all the time, you, it, it will stay, I promise. All of these things um, um, is going to help you learn more vocabulary and just become more comfortable navigating in Spanish. And you will see the difference after a while. Okay, I'm not saying this is going to take two weeks or a month. We're going, you have to be realistic. It's going to take a little bit longer, but it's all a part of the journey. You have to be patient. You have to be patient because um, it doesn't happen overnight and it, it, it's harder for some people than for others. Okay, um, for me, it took me a really long time to get to a level where I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I understand everything now. It took a long time, but I didn't give up. So you have to bear that in mind. It's patience and doing these things over and over again will result in very positive um, um, results in the end. Okay, it will, you will see the, 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 the positive um, outcome. Okay, positive results. Right. Um, Instead of always comparing yourself to the others who are better than you in your class, you need to remi remember yourself that some remind yourself. I can't talk today, people. You need to remind yourself that just like you, every single person in that classroom has doubts or they have um, weaknesses. Okay, they might not say them. Or they might not. Um, express those but it doesn't mean that they don't have them so you might be saying oh Clara over there just seems to understand everything and you know she 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 seems so confident but sometimes that's all it is it's confidence and sometimes there are they are, there are people who are better than us okay but that's okay we, we're never all the same level within the same class so in whatever class you go to you're always going to find some people are here, other people are here, other people are here. You just have to accept where you are and be open to growth. That's all I can say um, to, to that. But stop comparing yourself because you're not that person, that person or that person. You are you. You don't want to stress yourself out too much. You have to be realistic. 
okay so being realistic in where you are now and where you need to get it's not impossible okay so so what you've started later than everybody else it doesn't mean that you're not going to get to the same place as they are if you're finding it really difficult to understand your teacher you know say that to, the, to, to your teacher you know i'm struggling a little bit um could you explain this to me a bit uh, more what advice would you give me okay you need to do more listenings and if the problem is that you are just finding it really really difficult to under to understand when she speaks perhaps you need to spend a little bit more time with your vocabulary learning okay there's another video um that i've put up about how to learn vocabulary quicker um i will try and link that also um later in this video <clears throat> right um you have to um sort of go after spanish okay you have to make it make a massive effort to go out of your norm to make sure you're putting yourself in a position where you're forced to speak spanish i lived in wiltshire and the only um spanish restaurant that there was when i was doing spanish was in bath so it was um 25 minutes on the on the train to get to bath so what i used to do whenever i could was and when i had the money because you never have a lot of money when you're at school do you let's face it i used to get on the train to bath and i used to go and eat in this restaurant and i would ask um for a spanish-speaking waiter and I told them, I, I, I don't get embarrassed about these things. I never did. And so I would order in Spanish and I would have a little conversation with the waiter. And I would say to him, you know, I'm learning and blah, 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 blah. Um, so can I do, I'm going to order in Spanish and so on. And he, uh, at the end of the, um, the meal, I would have had maybe a six minute conversation with someone in Spanish. But I always felt so proud of myself. So put yourself out there. Find situations where you are forced to speak Spanish or you're forced to listen to, to, to it, okay? Right, um, next point. I mean, or even before I move on to the next point, um, most of us go to um, holiday in Spain, okay? Um, Brits love going to Spain for holiday. That's just a well-known fact. Um, so why not... Ask your family to, 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 to take your next holiday there, even if you weren't planning to go there. And just making the most of that opportunity to, to go to the market in Spain, to listen to people speaking, to make an effort to talk. Okay? Ask your teacher, what can we do? Can we set up something with another school so I can have some sort of pen friend um, sort of um, relationship with someone? Okay? Um, try to look for people who ask spanish speaking ask your teacher do you know someone that i could pair up with do you know how i can get in connect uh, get connected to someone from spain so we're, we're exchanging language do that it's not that hard um but maybe your school does have something like that in place so um try try and do that whatsapp try and get a whatsapp group with all the people in your class and send whatsapp audio messages to each other so you're speaking um but um yeah audio files hola que hace hoy pues nada uh no he, no hice nada porque estaba whatever it is conversation back and forth with people in in your class ask them i'm sure people wouldn't mind doing that with you it's you have something in common okay it's a group it's a club Try and see whether or not that would work or suggest that to your teacher because perhaps if it comes from your teacher, mm, people will be more willing to, to participate. I'm in groups such, such as these for um, my German and I did this when I was learning too. So these are just advice, um, tips I'm passing on that I personally have used. Okay, right. Um, you're, there are loads of languages apps and apps. Um, so find some apps um, that are going to be focused on your listening and download some of those, okay? The news. You can get the news on the net, you can get the news. 
it's not just a newspaper where you're reading anymore. You can listen to it. Go on to YouTube, find Spanish news, okay? Or it could be Mexican news. Whatever it is, you just need to make sure that you are... Um, you you are lost lost that one. that you are actually listening to Spanish every day for a bit, right? And um, my niece came um, to visit me in in the summer here in Spain, and she got this really cool app because she knew no Spanish at all, and she got an app that organized her all the new words that she learned, and it was a lot because she was constantly asking me stuff. Um, and she'd put the words in and it would um, order them up alphabetically. Um, and so I thought that was a fantastic app to have for um, language learning, for your storing of your new Spanish uh, vocab. Okay. Uh, guys, you're not going to be fluent in six months. You're not going to be fluent by June uh, if you are struggling right now with um, the massive step but you're going to be a lot better than you are right now if you are realistic, if you put the work in, okay? So you need to make sure that you are allocating this time to um, listening in Spanish, making, making a massive thing of noting down your vocabulary because your listening is not going to get better if you don't know the words that they're saying. So you need to spend a decent amount of time on vocabulary learning as well. So for vocabulary learning, when you're watching your favorite apps, your favorite series in, in Spanish, put subtitles on. Sometimes you will see a word that you wouldn't, you, you, you wouldn't have seen before. Okay, so subtitles in Spanish. Okay, so whatever movie you're watching, go and look to see what, um, in the option, what um, languages they put the subtitles in and choose Spanish, put them on, okay? It does sound really daunting and it does sound as though um, you're not going to get to where you need to get, but you will, you just absolutely need to trust me on this one, okay? You will. If I can do it, so can you. You absolutely can, but you cannot give up, okay? Do not give up. We've all been there where we, 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 we think we're not good enough we're never going to get there. We can't see our own improvement. So you need to trust that it's a passage that we all have to go through. But eventually, we will get, we will get there. Okay? The library is going to be your best friend. Okay? Um, I know not as many people go to the library as they did in the 90s when I was at school. But instead of buying all these books... Go and get books from the library in Spanish, not great big ones that you won't be able to get through because that's only going to stress you out even more. You're going to be seeing words that you don't understand and it's going to get you even more frustrated. Okay, so get the, 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 the thinner books, the simpler vocab books, um, or even go on Amazon and buy um, a book for intermediate um, or advanced Spanish learners and um, see how that goes okay it's going to be okay and the, you have to remember that when you're reading a book you're not going to understand all of it um the first go but it's a confident confidence boosting exercise okay you start off looking some words up but not every single word that you don't understand because you will gradually start to understand things um by the context okay so through context you will understand what people are trying to say what the book is, book is trying to say okay what the story is about i would not get stressed out and i would definitely not quit learning spanish just because you're finding it a bit of a struggle or because you think that other people are better than you whatever you do in life there's always going to be someone who is better than us but that is okay. You're competing against yourself. You're not competing against everybody else. Okay, and so you need to get that in here that it's your journey and you will finish when you need to finish. It's not a hundred meter race 
where you need to finish in 10 seconds flat. You don't need to do that, okay? You will get there eventually. And so what? You don't get the best mark in an exam. You do it again. You put more hours in, okay? It's recycling the same old things, okay? Don't give up. You will get there in the end. I promise. We've all felt like this at some point or another uh, whilst learning a language. But the key is just to stick it out and it will be just fine. Good luck. And let me know how you get on. And until next time, cuidados. Adios.